So yeah, first matchup is going to be Tameshi Bloom versus Greenway Scales. <clears throat> time to bully. Let's go. Time to bully Taren. I hope. That's probably how I'm it's going to go. Super competitive. I don't like to lose. The fact is like decently tough to pilot. You need at least like you need a decent amount of reps on it. And I played quite a few games with it or last couple like today and yesterday, but we'll see how it goes. Ready? Yeah. I'm feeling decently confident. Remove the evens. Count the odds. Eleven. Okay. And it's low. Lowest number lowest number wins. Oh my. Removing the evens. Count the odds. Oh yeah. Ouch. Alright, I'll be on the play. Um, if you haven't seen the deck before, you can do exclamation point deck list and it'll pop up with the link to, to MTG Goldfish for you. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's hands good enough. It's not like crazy fast, but it's, it's probably good enough. I'll keep. I'm going to keep. Right. I'll play Triumph first. Go. No no lotus blooms to suspend right off the bat. The crazy turn the crazy games are when you have like one or two lotus blooms to suspend. Take damage. Lotus strand. So you if you play Brushland, I mean, I know he's on scales, but like in a vacuum, you would know that they're on scales just by this. So I could fetch here and then just kind of try to curve out and play my Tameshi on three and then try to kill on turn four. Sounds awful for me. I do have to draw a land though. Whereas if I just, other uh, Domri's call kind of guarantees I. Like for uh, soccer tribe owner kind of guarantees I hit land. I'm gonna be a little bit greedy. I'm you know, the engineer. I gotta fetch shock. And get a stomping ground. Oh no, that's a flooded strand. All right, that actually changes things. I can't. I can't get the land I need. So never mind. Engineer back in. Hand. We're gonna. I'm just gonna Eladomri's call. Um. I don't need to fetch on my turn at all then, but we're already doing this, so. Garden. Oh, is there a new command spoiled? Oh, you mean the Nightbot command. Gotcha. You're good. Are you doing it now? Yeah, go Draw card? Guess I probably should have done it on his end step. You're good. Good. I'm just getting another tribe. Draw butter. Turn. Go ahead and start ticking Saga. That seems good. Take a damage. We're going to play a Hardened Scales. Yep. And then we're going to play a Zabaz on two. Yep. And we're going to swing with one. Take one. Go ahead. Go for turn. Okay, got the land. Um. <clears throat> we pretty much have the guaranteed next turn if I just do this. And I get to block something, probably. So, yeah, that's fine. Just try boater, play one, one sub teeth and pass. Sub York. Untap, draw. I'm not even saying hi. York, I'm not saying hi. Get him, Teta. <laughs> yeah. Said, Get him, Teta. <clears throat> draw. Hit down. An ink moth. I ticked up Saga. So. I think the first thing I actually want to do is go ahead, we'll pay another life, 
We're going to Ancient Stirrings. Sure. Okay, five. That seems good. Uh, we're going to reveal a Ballista. And these go in any order. Okay. Um, play to land already. Do not have the Ozolith yet. That is a huge bummer. Uh, but I think I have to just go with Ballista on two here. Um, it's not going to be enough. Yeah, you can ping my... Or attempt to ping my Ogre so, out of the way to get the Zabaz through. But that's not... I mean, it doesn't really matter. you're just going to sack it anyways. I'd rather keep the two counters on it. All right. Yep, Block, take one. Sack. And I'm going to just go ahead and sack this while I'm doing this. Take one more. Oh, get a... I'll get my other Triumph. It's good to get the Triumphs in this deck because if you run out of stuff to do and you have a lot of mana, you can bounce Triumphs back to your hand with Tameshi. Missed it the first time through. And then uh, the other basic... We got double green, double white, double blue, and double red. So it doesn't really matter. I guess another white source is fine. Oh. What's up, it's Kama. Thanks oh, for the sub, it's yeah. Kama. Thanks for the resub. Seven months. Ugh. You're good, bud. All right. So this should be a kill. Uh, definitely, since I just drew a land, too. Land. Uh, green. Or sorry, white, blue, green. Uh, Wargate for X is zero. Draw card. Sure. Okay. All right. So Wargate is sick in this deck because you can just get Lotus Bloom and put it on the battlefield. <laughs> um. The other cool thing with it is if you just have enough mana, it's also just another tutor effect for one of your other threats. So you can get Tameshi, or you can get Cultivator Colossus with it. One of your other pieces. Yeah, I'll fetch while I'm in here. Thanks, Brick. It's, uh, Brickers in there. It's combo time! Like, yeah. Doesn't really matter what I get. I'll just get a basic island. What's up, cute bunny? Yeah, don't really nerdy degenerate things. I'm about to get clapped. <laughs> kind of excited, though. That got weird. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, uh. So, make three blue. Play the meshy. <laughs> Yikes. Um, Alright, give me these lands. So I'll just... White... Blue. Oh, Brick's coming to tell us something. I messed something up. Did you sack the Lotus? What did you sack it for? What's that, Brick? You do anything. Oh, okay. I thought you needed something. I got, like, an actual mana thing, so... Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. All right. What did you uh, sack that for? Went it on the battlefield? Yeah, I sacked it to cast Tameshi. Oh, to cast Tameshi. I'm sorry. Yeah. Just trying to follow. All right. So, pay white, and then return this to the battlefield, and okay. I have to bounce a land in my hand. And so the first time... Per turn, you do this with Tameshi. First time you return a land to your hand, you get to draw a card. Alright, so the way this works is I just keep doing this. <laughs> so, three white, this goes to the graveyard. Pay a white. With Activate Tameshi, return Lotus Bloom to the battlefield. Bounce a land. Bounce a land. Um, so it's nice to pick up your Triumphs. In this case, it doesn't really matter, but sometimes you, you need to do that to cycle them. Activate, make three more white. This dies. Pay white with Tameshi, return to the battlefield, bounce a land. Uh, this time we can make green. Pay white, activate this. 
Power nine's my hand. Sack this for. Uh, let's do. If you want to use these. Oh, cool, thanks. Um, so we could just leave this bloom out and leave a land out. This makes it a little bit easier to combo off in the future and just play a Colossus right now. Although he does just have Ballista that he can shoot it with. Well, the triggers on the stack. It's probably worth it to just make you use it though. Sure. Pay seven mana. Cast Ballista. Okay. Or sorry, Colossus. And it's a one one. Yeah, it's a one one right now. But your so now your triggers yeah. are on the stack. Yeah, into the battlefield trigger on the stack. When you cultivate your Colossus enters the battlefield, you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped. If you do, draw a card and repeat this process. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot it. All right, so it dies. Well, it's a one one. All right, trigger happens. Draw a card. Land. Draw a card. Land, draw a card. Land, draw a card. Oops. Land, land, draw a card, draw a card. Kind of speed it up. Land, draw a card. Land, draw a card. Okay. <laughs> uh, wow. So now what happens is I have nine lands in play. Um. So you get to pick all those up and make it mana every time. Yeah, so white mana. <clears throat> yeah, even though the Colossus got shot, the enter the battlefield trigger was still on the stack from it entering the battlefield. So, yeah. Um, should we skip the rest of this? It's just going to be make a bajillion mana and cast a finale for 10 mm -hmm. and go get a... We'll just show them it's plus two for every land, right? Yeah. So you, you can just shortcut the Lotus Bloom part and just do plus two, pick up a land, plus two, pick up a land. I guess I should plus two and then pick up a land because that was two. So take one away there, three there. Um, Okay, and then so I have a bajillion mana. Now you just cast a finale. He's getting another cultivator. Yeah, so eight. You just have to cast it for twelve. So twelve. Okay. Go get another Colossus. This one, I have two in play, so you can't shoot it with Ballista anyways, but um, it enters with plus 10, plus 10. So you... And this also has plus 10, plus 10. Yeah, and my Tameshi does. So now we repeat the process. Land, draw a card. Land, draw a card. I can just put all the land in play and draw all the cards at once. Yes, plus it has haste. You are correct, it's comma. Haste and trample, so haste and five, trample. Draw five. No more land draw card. Uh, so now this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, Twenty. Twenty twenty haster trample attack. Boom. That doesn't feel good. <laughs> so I am bringing in relic pithing needle. Torpor Orb and a Path all interact with him, make things hard. Um, taking out a Welding Jar, he's not destroying my stuff. Um, taking out an Esper Sentinel, I still have three, just trimming one because it's not super great. Uh, patchwork Automaton's a little bit slow, and just taking out one Ancient Stirrings. So I'm just kind of trimming. Rick, I'm going to bring in a Portable Hole and a Skyclave. Skyclave is like not great on the draw, but just the fact that these can eat like uh, Ozolith or Hardened Scales, it's like really good. And then it's a very time raveler. It, it, like 
it's okay, but it just seems a little bit slow and like it doesn't really stop them and it, I don't really have anything I need to protect my combo from. So. What's the best deck in the format and why is it Tameshi Bloom? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd have to say it's Tameshi Bloom and because it's Tameshi Bloom. It's a heck of a combo. Right. Love it. What do we put back here? Got to put back one more. I think I need these and... I put back one of these. So probably just need it to be this and we hope to draw all the other pieces. We're ready. Put that on the bottom. Side. Good. <clears throat> Pass, sir. Okay. Pass, sir. Um, What's up, Daniel from Brazil? What up, what up? Hey, hey. Play try, I'm tapped. Go. That's it. Kind of changes things. Um, Best deck is four color, three copies in the top four, the last 1k in our circuit. Yeah, I would say uh, my preference would be, uh, or my my pick for best deck in the format would be four color pretty easily, but. Green? Sure. Anxious turns. Sure. <clears throat> oh. In all seriousness, what would I play in a Pioneer PTQ? Um, pretty spicy, and it's not the uh, Tier 1 by any means. It's just a rogue deck that I came up with, but Blue-Red Prowess. And we're going to play that on Thursday. Do I go? Oh, this is interesting, because I got Saga that hopefully will go off next turn. He could besage you it, um, so I could grab the insurance plan. Um... But Ravager lets me start to try to win. But I, I think I'm going to be safe and grab grab the Relic. Go ahead. Tap draw. What's up, Teeth? Or sorry, Flooded Strand. And... Um, yeah, it's pretty awkward. I'm just going to pass because I know he's got Relic now and I need to get what he whatever he gets with Urza Saga too. Tap draw. Tick up to three. We're going to flow to mana. So since I have a Relic, the real question is do I get Pithing Needle and stop entirely the activated ability and having a relic to consider the Ozolith now. I don't have to fetch the other one. The Ozolith. Given what's in my hand now. Ozolith isn't that great right now. Double relic is a little bit insane because I can just half an exile. I don't have to sack it. Totally forces. I think I'm going to get Relic. Talk myself into it. Greg Champ found us from YouTube. Sweet. These will be going up on YouTube. As long as I don't punt too much. All right. Cut, sir. You're good. Okay, so one floating mana. This is in my hand. I'm going to cast Relic. Mm -hmm. With the floating mana, we're gonna get Pendlehaven down. Didn't you get relic from the Urza Saga? I got one relic from Urza Saga, and then one relic from the Stirrings. Didn't you just search for Urza Saga though and get a relic? You already had a relic out. Right? No, the relic wasn't out. It was in my hand. Oh, you didn't cast it last turn. You just no, it was in my hand for the turn. My bad, my bad. I just was leaving it displayed to you. Yeah, yeah, I see. Go ahead and get scales mm. down. Yep. Um, go to. No, I'm not gonna go to combat. Out of the thing. 
Yeah. Well, I'll do that in a minute. I'm going to make you eat a land. Yep. Go ahead. All right. He's... Uh, to, a relic says, what's Tameshi? Um, Bricker, can you pull it up on the sidecar view for him? Oh, uh, get a hallowed fountain. Yeah. We'll get our stream editor on it. You always need a double white source in the stack at some point, pretty much. Generally, it's just a good idea to get double white. Thank you, sir. Skyclave on that one, I guess. I'm going to respond. Sure. I will attach this, exile, exile this, exile all cards from our graveyard, draw a card. Yep. Can't do that now. Untap, draw. That's pretty good. Get down another ink moth. Uh, we gotta pray that this isn't just Ravager. Ravager, I'm probably dead next turn. Dang. Ballista for two, so it'll come in with an extra counter up to three. Wow. Go. This is pretty brutal to try to play through. <laughs> is tapped out, though? Yes. Okay. That might have been a mistake. Card's pretty bad right now, too. Okay, actually, I think I got a line here. You go, what is Chan? Pop it. It's not an exile. All right. Um, can I just get basic planes? Drug Chan back into the format. That's awesome, man. Yeah, Modern's in a really good spot right now, I think. There's like 10 to 15 decks that I feel like you could competitively play at any event, which is awesome that you're not playing, you know, the same deck every time. Now, don't get me wrong, there's still, you know, probably four or five decks that are maybe tier one slightly above the rest, but there's a bunch of competitive decks. I think I have to shock this Temple Garden because I kind of need access to double green too. Try to portable hole the ballista. Huh. I'm going to respond and shoot the Skyclave. Shoot the Skyclave and then shoot you. Clearing uh, the way. Oh, tap. And now I bounce my own portable hole. Very good. And I'll suspend a lotus one. Seems good. Go. Cool. Animate an ink moth. Yeah. Cast as a boss. Bzz, bzz. Um, target there. 
Like this? This. In New Haven. Oh, to make it bigger? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Attack you for two and tap for one. Yep. Go to. Oh, wait. Infect. Hey, Jordan, do you have an infect counter? Sorry, I should have muted when they yelled. Just put dice in there. I'm just have beautiful handwriting. We're okay. All right, go to my turn. Are you got more stuff? I'm, I'm. You're good. I'm done. All right, up to take this down, straw. I hope he's about to get infected. I'm gonna get him. Sub divine. Um. Uh, all right. This is whack. Yeah, Ink Moth's back as a land. You don't have one? We just, I mean, we just did this. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Well, I was about to draw the Phyrexian so I like this Oh, cool. Um... Sorry. I think I just say go. Yeah, um, try not to die. Make you eat a card out of your graveyard? Yeah. It's, uh... Tiff. That's made ink moth. Yep. You're at eleven. Yep. Combat? You? Um Yeah, no effects. Two infect? Down to nine. Um, second main. I'm just gonna pass. All right. We're holding up this, but I'd rather have it in my hand for this if we get there. So, all right, upkeep, tip of draw. And I guess we just pass again and hope we don't die. Make you eat a card? Yep. Counter on it. Counter? Yep. Up to three. Nine. For some reason, I always think this is a ballista, not a hanger back walker. I can deal four infect. I can't without the Oslo if I can't win this turn. And I can't risk tapping out and just losing. Um combat? Yep. So five and two infect? Yes, the walker got an extra counter from scales. Yeah, it was at one. It was at one and three. went up to three. All right, no, no effects. Yep. So five, I got a four. Yep, and then I'm going to pass. All right. 
Uh, upkeep comes off the spin, I'll cast it. Okay. Draw. Hey. Ay, ay, ay. We didn't get there. I was hoping to just draw some way to tutor for Temeshi. And we would have a more of a fighting chance here. But um, we drew some interaction instead, so. I don't know how I can really stay alive and have a chance. So, you have to tap this to put a counter on it, right? Correct. I have to tap it to put a counter on it. <clears throat> My thought is I can play this, target this. Um, okay. Sure. Okay. Um, and then go. I, I'm trying to just keep this for the turn. Like, if I can get to a turn where I can actually do something, I can have that, but it might just be, it might not happen. But I'm just playing to my outs. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to do that 10 turn. Yes. Each year, each year, yeah. Not drawing a ballista, dude? No, I did not draw a ballista. The heck are you doing? Not much. Just draw a ballista. He's a four. There's just no way to deal on that extra damage, and there's no way for me to get four infect through this turn. He also now has a blocker. So we are going to go to combat. Yep. Um, yeah, block. Sure. So 1-1 one, one illusion. Um, automaton. Sure. Automaton trigger. Sure. Two counters because I harden scales. And then I'm gonna pass. Alright. We gotta rip it. We didn't rip it. <sighs> so it is a tense game. We're tanking hard here. Yeah. Pretty much guaranteed dead. Yeah. I can like I can just cast the Colossus, but that just doesn't do anything. I just die. I was I was just I was holding up portable hole to have a way to if I draw a two. I mean, you could cast your Arbor Grazers in your portable hole and block and live. Uh, you could just put Grazers down for blockers. They have reach as well. Yeah, I mean, and you have Odawara to bounce. Well, this yeah, you got a land to play. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I can. If I if I can't get this, though, I just can't win. So I can't really cast the hole on anything but this. 
Well, I mean, just put these down as blockers. Block this, block this. If you still don't die. I, and I would just hold the relic and... Alright, I mean... I mean, I would do it. I think it, I think you live another turn unless I rip something good. Alright. I have to rip an artifact here. I mean, I'm going to get a draw, because when you portable hole, I'm going to sack it. Yeah, that's fine. And I'll hold up. Yeah, I can hold up a tomorrow, so... Alright. I'm just keeping the lands in my hand, because it, it doesn't matter. You casting your portable hole? No. You're not? No. I mean, I guess there's no reason not to right now. Yeah, portable hole your relic. Okay. I'm going to sack it. Because I'll grave yards. Draw card. Didn't get there. See if I untap draw. He that did get there. He doesn't have a ballista. That's a hanger back walker. Um, I did. I did end up ripping it. Okay. So, uh, scales. Scales take a damage from the brush land. Arcbound ravager. Okay. Um, triggers. So, um, it's going to get four. This one's going to go up to six. And then we'll go to combat. So, block this, block this. Back, uh, Lotus Swim and tap this and Odawara this. Okay. Well, I'm going to respond. I'll sack. Oh, yeah, you can put the counters on this guy. Yeah, I'll sack this. It's not artifact. It's artifact. Oh, that's an illusion. Yeah, yeah I can't put it on there. Creature. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and you're gonna. Yeah, you're gonna live. Um, I want to sack uh, Mechanic Godzilla. Okay. Make three Thopters. Um, that puts four counters on Ravager. Um, and then we'll just leave that sit like that for now. It's good. All right. Go to my turn. Yeah. Okay, I literally, I can't rip a tutor for Tameshi. It has to just be Tameshi off the top of my deck. Nope. Not good enough. Okay. Well, I mean, I was yeah, just that, that was, you that you, can, you yeah. could live another turn. For some reason, I was saying I had to hold the portable hole, but I could just cast it. That was kind of troll. All right. Suspend a bloom. Sure. Grazer. Oh, that's a fast start. Go. Saga. Pith and Needle to Meshi. Gross. You're not going to Pith and Needle Lotus Bloom? Well, I'm going to respond oh, Should to... I Pith and Needle Lotus Bloom? No. I would, I would Pith and Needle to Meshi. Okay. Be... I was going to say, I thought it would be to Meshi's activation. Yeah. Sure. I'm going to respond to your Pith and Needle so you don't name uh, Winslow Teeth. <laughs> Actually. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, this is tapped. I can't do it this turn. You could have named one Swift Teeth. It's, I mean, that's kind of a meme, in my opinion, because you just play other lands and then eventually pick it up. Right. All right. Uh, untap. All right, yeah. Upkeep. Tick that down. Okay, now, pop the Heath. This is kind of awkward. Slayer Falls, like, uh-uh, you're not getting away with that one, Taryn. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> All right. <laughs> His comment says, get needled, nerd. Uh, I'm just going to get this out of and pass. Shocking? Yeah. So you're 17? Yep. Yeah. I'm at 20. Untap, draw, tick up. We are doing some things that are interesting. Uh... Gonna play a spire and we're gonna ancient stirrings. Gonna grab Zabaz. And then Going to it's bad. No. We're gonna we're gonna wait. We're gonna put it in our hand. Okay. Go ahead. I'm gonna call. And I'm gonna get an apparition. 
That's why this deck's pretty sick. You have Apparition. They play Thank you. A good amount of hate. And you can just tutor it with any of the, you know, all these <clears throat> effects in the game. In the deck. And upkeep. Draw. Nice. Alright, so... Fetch. I'm going to have to fetch shock again. And I need double white. So I think we get a Temple Garden. Mm, I could get Sacred Foundry. No. Oh, Misty. Never mind. Temple Garden. Yeah, very shocked. And I'm just going to Skyclave that and pass. Nothing I can do about it. Untap, draw. Oh, that's interesting. We're going to play land. And this, I'm sorry, this takes up to three. We're going to float a mana. So this land is actually not played yet, I'm sorry. Um, let's go get our relic. Clean up the play a little bit. I gotta figure out how to play through a relic too. Play the land that I wanted to play. We're going to change things a little bit here. Still don't haven't played a threat, but that's all right. We're gonna take a damage. Play hardened scales. Yep. And we're going to use the floating collarless to get an ozolith down. Yep. And then we're going to pass. I'm in an awkward spot where I got to leave this mana up to get rid of that if it hits the graveyard. Yeah. I'd like to be able to tap out and do what I can. I need to look at my sideboard real quick. Okay. I do have. Second, um, a second Skyclave. So there's that. But then, hmm, I can cast this and just go get it this turn, but then you would get to exile my Lotus Bloom. And then if I ever get to the point where I can cast this, I'm fine. But I don't have that mana right now. But I think that's the move. Because I, uh, worst case, I can cast this and go get um, the other... The dude that... Oh, no, he doesn't get a basic mountain. Okay. <laughs> I think that's still the play. It's not really much else I can do this turn that's better. So... Well, actually, saving this is good because then I can just yeah okay never mind I'm kind of trolling all right call sure getting another apparition I love when they tutor form. Because 11 tutors, man, it's gross. It is gross. Pop this for white. Cast this on your relic. Sure. Pop it. Yeah. Call us, man. Draw card. Yeah. Thank you for two. Yep. 16. All right. So hopefully we have beaten the hate cards and we're fine. What's the price for this deck in paper? Um, I don't know, but I have it. If you hit exclamation point deck list, oh, ew, sorry, deck list. There's an MTG Goldfish link, so that'll give you an idea. We're just going to town. Take a damage. Take a damage. Fourteen. 
Ripple. Zabaz. Holy. All right. I'm probably just dead next turn. Go ahead. If I rip a land, I could be okay, I think. Rip the land. I was holding my breath, but I don't think it's looking good then. Right. <clears throat> I'm going to Wargate. Um, and I'm going to do this at the same time. Okay, so you're fetching. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to just get a basic planes with this. Basic planes, so you're down to 13. Yeah. And so he's just shortcutting. He's wargating for three, getting a basic planes to do that. Yeah. And he's getting a Lotus Bloom with a wargate. If someone does that to you in paper and a uh, comp REO, call a judge. <laughs> Don't wait. Call a judge today. So that's why wargate's so expensive now? Yeah. You can just three mana tutor up a Lotus Bloom and put in play. It's pretty gross. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's dead next turn unless he wins. Oh, wait. Unless uh, he's got a stopper. Yeah, I don't actually think I can win. Uh, I, I would have to draw something here. So pop this for blue. Play Tameshi. Okay. Or pay white, target this, put this into play. Okay. Put the planes back in my hand, draw a card. Okay. Off to Meshi. That was the wrong tutor to draw, I think. So this is nine mana. Three plus two plus two plus two. So. I'm actually trolling unless I draw a walking ballista. I cannot get rid of the arboral grazer is a little bit of a problem over there. Yeah. Um, I already played land for turn. Yeah, I just have to pass because this I can. I have another tutor, but it's the wrong one. It, it's going to be just uh, like two mana too much. But next turn I can maybe do it. Play land. I can't. I still can't. Can't get through. That's the grazer. awesome, but I can't get through the grazer. So is that okay? Yeah. I mean, it's my only. It's my only out. It's going to be close. Yeah, one mana off is the problem. Um, four counters here. See, what I really need to do is I need one of them to die before, and I have another Zabaz, but I don't have enough mana to play it and activate Ang's Maw. Oh, yeah. We're just going to play Zabaz. Um, it comes in with four counters, right. and now Modular Trigger, ha or Legendary Trigger happens, and we're going to sack the one with Summoning Sickness, put four counters here, Modular Trigger happens. We are going to um, use Ang Moth to activate itself, we're going to move the modular trigger back here to the ink moth and we're going to put five well four plus uh four goes up to eight um i'm sorry four plus three plus one from zabaz goes up to eight i was right um so that goes to the graveyard and then we're going to go to combat and we're going to move uh we're going to move four counters up here onto Zabaz. Uh, pass turn. You're not attacking? You attack? Uh, no. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm going to kill one creature. I, I was just going to leave it back as a blocker. Okay, blocking but... doesn't do anything. <laughs> right, if yeah. It, if it happens, it happens. All right. Play my turn. Uh, get these out. That's why they call Grazer Blocks Diamond, man. Um, all right. Activate. Yep. Grazer, Grazer bought him the extra turn. It's a heck of a blocker. Green. 
three white. Pop this for three white. Uh, oh, it is. You're so I'm you are right. I forgot to when I moved it, put those on there. Okay, pay white man to target this, put this in play, I uh, return planes to my hand, I draw a card. Pop this for white. Two eight. Thank you. How do you drew? Okay, white. Put this back in play. Turn line in my hand. Mm hmm. Uh, you, you, if you didn't know, you draw a card off to mesh you for the first time. You do that for the first time, something bounces back to your hand. Activate this for green this time. The four. Pay okay, white. This back in play, bounce line back to my hand. Now we're at 13 mana. And I have this grazer, so I might as well do this. Grazer actually nets you a mana. Because you get to return the land back to your hand. So this goes to three, put a land into play. Activate this for green. Oh uh, no, sorry, I need blue actually. So pop this for blue. Pay white. Turn to play. Bounce the sign back to my hand. All right. So now we can warp gate for ten total mana. So six and then down to one. Go get cultivator colossus. Played well this round. You uh, this last game, you fought through a lot of hate, a pithy needle, and a relic. Yeah, it's decks pretty resilient to just like some onboard graveyard hate like that. Like even just like leyline of the void, you can still just get a skyclave and get it. The only thing about relic is I kept having to leave a mana untapped. Right, which is a bummer. All right, and draw a card. Well, here, let's just do just speed it up. Four, draw four. Oops. Draw a card. Okay. It actually wasn't the best. So, um, just for all you watching right now, Finale of Devastation is what he needs to hit. <clears throat> so, yeah, there's always a chance this can fizzle if I don't hit a Finale. I did hit the Finale, but... So, yeah, we just... Pay one, it's back in the play, return to land. Uh, do this over and over again. All these are two mana, so eight produce eight. Um, so I can do I can do five and three actually. If like the last one is green. Um, does that leave me a lotus moon out or no? Eight. No, if you return it four, just just do it. All right, we'll just do it. My bad. You were it. I added eight, so three and then minus five. Right. So three. Yeah, is it three? Eight. Yeah, three. Activate this. Go up to six. Pay white. Put it back in play. Put this back in my hand. Activate this. Go up to eight. Pay white. Put this back in my hand. Activate this. Make three here. Pay white. Put this back in play. Put this back in my hand. Tap this for three more green. Pay white, put it back in play, pick this land up. Yeah, I did it right. 11, and then I saw this in play. Yeah, they're all two mana, and then it's if this was in play, it would stay in play. If it's not in play, it stays out of play. So, All right, now I'll pop this. 
again for just three more green. So nine plus three of this is 12. Go get another cultivator. So X is 10. This is gross. <laughs> this is gross. So everything on the board has plus 10, plus 10, and haste. Put five lands into play, draw five. Grazer beat down for. I am blocking both of the grazers. Well, the one has so many sickness. Or no, everything could taste them, man. Um, it could be really mean and Otawara one of his things. Draw two more. Okay. Yeah, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Yeah. GG's. All right.